Hi, this is Chuck Benedict, mentor for Team 997 Spartan Robotics in Corvallis, Oregon. This is the next video in the series on vision processing, and I wanted to take a little time to show um, how you go about running the interactive debugger for the uh, vision processing application. It's pretty straightforward. I've done the work of setting it up for you, but just thought it would be useful for those that maybe you're not used to Visual Studio Code uh, debugging how it actually works. So the first thing that you should do is in the camera vision project in the .vs code folder, there are two files that you should have a look at. One is called tasks.json and one is called uh, launch.json. So in the tasks.json file, uh, what, what this file represents are the tasks that will run as part of uh, the, the debug process. So when you start up the debugger, um, the uh, act of launching the debugger, which is in this launch JSON file, will run some tasks first. And this task JSON file defines what those tasks are. Um, the first thing that it will do is that it will uh, run a build of the project and uh, it basically uses the same Gradle build command that you would use manually in the command line, but it'll do it automatically for you. And then the next thing that it will do is it will run this local debug startup.bat file, which is already, it's pre-built for you as part of the build process. And the reason why this is different than the other startup file is because it doesn't run, this startup file does not run the camera vision start because you're gonna run it in the debug mode, but it runs the other three applications. It runs the network tables, simulator server, it runs the GStreamer application, and then it runs the HTTP uh, MJPEG streaming application, because those are all dependencies to run uh, the camera vision app. You'll also notice here, it's kind of it's hidden, but um, there's a, an argument that's passed here, uh, and this argument represents the index number of the camera that you want to be picked up for image processing. If you only have one camera plugged in, it's probably zero. If you have multiple, then you have to find the, the correct camera. I have two cameras plugged in and my uh, camera, which is uh, over here. Oh, well, never mind. It's tangled up, but trust me, my uh, life cam, Microsoft life cam camera is camera number one, which is why this is set to one. Uh, next, in launch.json, um, the same command line arguments that I described in prior videos um, also exist here. So you need to set your team number. Um, if you're using the, ne the network table simulator locally, you would leave this set to local host. And if you're using the local MJPEG HTTP server that again is starting up in the other bat file I just talked about, then this URL should work just fine. Um, but note that you can change these to, if you want to uh, run the debugger against different, uh, you know, either source camera or if you leave the uh, NT host flag off, if you just completely remove it, then you can run in the debugger um, testing calls to the RoboRio NT a network tables server if you wish. Um, okay, so with those with those two settings in mind, uh, all you really have to do then is to go to the uh, the debug pane, and you'll notice in this drop down here there are two debug settings that are already set up for you. This top one, debug launch main camera vision, that's that will run the debugger. Uh, locally for the camera vision application. So let's go ahead and do that. And I also set up, let me go ahead and open up. I set a breakpoint in main.java right here. So once everything runs, uh, we should see the, we should see um, the camera vision application start and the debugger stop right here on this line. And this takes a minute to run through the, it runs through the entire build for you automatically. So if you made a change to source code, that change will get picked up because of the build. So now you can see that it's running the external application dependencies, network tables, 
and then the streaming application. Uh, of course, in my case, the uh, streaming application didn't run probably because my camera's flipped around again. I don't know why that happens. Um, but in any case, I'm not going to restart this. Um, but just wanted to illustrate to you that indeed this is stopped. Now, if I step through this, this probably will fail because my camera uh, is not available when it tries to open the camera. But nonetheless, uh, you can see that all the pieces have been set up for you to support debugging pretty easily. Um, so if you've got any questions, please uh, leave them to me on the uh, YouTube page. And uh, thanks for watching.